Anybody who's travelled by plane has almost certainly flown in a Boeing 747 or an Airbus A380. But what's it like to sit in the pilot seat of these massive aircraft? Australian business traveller went for a spin in one of the state-of-the-art flight simulators which Qantas uses to train its pilots at its facility in Sydney. Qantas has 10 flight simulators at its Sydney training base. Each simulator is a self-contained pod driven by state-of-the-art electronics. The Boeing 747 and Airbus A380 simulators cost over $30 million each, says Qantas flight trainer Steve Curtis. Australian business traveller editor David Flynn stepped behind the control stick of a Boeing 747 for a virtual flight from Sydney to London. Each flight simulator is mounted on hydraulic struts with a walkway to take you across to the cockpit. Once the simulator is powered up, it's time for Australian business traveller editor David Flynn to step into the cockpit. The walkway retracts so the simulator can move freely on its hydraulic struts and faithfully reproduce exactly what a real 747 would do. The simulator's cockpit is an exact replica of the flight deck of a real Boeing 747. There's also additional equipment to control the sim. Steve takes us through some of the basics and sets the simulator parameters. We'll be departing from Sydney's Kingsford Smith International Airport and landing at London Heathrow. So we'd normally start off with some taxiing, just getting used to the controls where everything's like. The scenery that's visible through the cockpit windows is amazingly lifelike. Yeah, what about it's not to show you sharp with this there are three large curved mirrors at the concave mirrors. It's created using giant concave mirrors and multiple projectors mounted at the front of the bay. Our video just doesn't do it justice. The apparent depth of the image is just unbelievable. Now it's time to head for the skies. Thankfully, our instructor has the controls and guides us down the runway and through a safe takeoff. Skyline, 
Dumper House, Sydney Tower. It's pretty amazing. The Harbour Bridge. It all looks so lifelike. Like. It's proper nose down a little bit. It's starting to descend. A lot of landing here. Bank angle. Okay. Bank okay. angle. To get above about a 30 degree bank angle, there's a warning system on the aircraft to, to nudge and reduce the bank angle. Thames River. Radio altimeter. Head for Heathrow. Okay. favourite airport to land in in the simulator. We're going into London on a horrible day. Apparently there's nothing on the screen which is close to a pea super, I would imagine. It is. A London day. That looks okay to me. Realistic if nothing else. So right hand on the thrust levers. Even though the uh, automatic pilot's engaged, you still need to be monitoring mm -hmm. the aircraft in the event of any flight. So far so good. There's a runway dead ahead. One thousand. How much of this landing is on autopilot? A whole lot. You can land a whole plane on autopilot. Absolutely. And in fact, it uses all three autopilots. And uh, 
few other systems are in behind the scenes to, uh, to land the aeroplane. I've also set the brakes up so the brakes can bring the aircraft to a stop as well. Certainly makes me look good. Five hundred. Well, that's a final check to see that we're on the correct glide path. Line up with the runway and the airspeed's very One hundred, fifty, thirty, twenty, ten. Good. If you reach forward with your right hand, mm -hmm. these four levers, mm -hmm. lift them up. Give it a stop, pause for a second, now pull them all the way back. That would give us reverse thrust. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Heathrow, and thanks to Qantas for the ride of our lives.